We are celebrating Western New York with a 103-year-old World War II veteran who is this year's enshrinee into the New York State Senate Veterans Hall of Fame. But because of some health concerns, Captain Sidney Cole could not make the trip to Albany, so a local state senator did the very next best thing. He brought the ceremony to him. It was a great idea, wasn't it? It was, and I can't wait to see this gentleman because 103 years old, he deserves a whole lot of credit. Isn't it so true? Well, it was wonderful that they went out of their way to have the special ceremony here because when you're talking about World War II veterans, my father is one of them, 91 years young. Yeah, it's never their favorite thing either to and hop into the car and take a long, long trip. So right. here's Channel 2's Dave McKinley with Mr. Cole's story. And to the Republic for which it stands, the hand Sidney Cole held over his heart was gloved due to injuries sustained while serving his country 73 years ago. When he was shot down in Belgium, it was minus 15 degrees actual temperature. And that's the reason he has circulation as bad as in, in his hands. Richard Cole is Sidney's only child, and despite a bevy of well wishers, his dad described his son as all I have left. My family, my friends, everything are gone. Not one of them left. Not one. That's what happens when you live to be 103. <laughs> exactly right. We could spend an entire story telling you about the honors bestowed on Sidney Cole for his service dating back to 1941, when even before the U.S. entered the war, he quit high school in Buffalo in order to join the Canadian Royal Air Force. His two-year stint with them up, he signed on with the Army Air Corps. Even saving the life of one of my people. When he stuck with his plane to allow a co-pilot to escape it when it was shot down and eventually landed behind enemy lines, where close to death he took one other action to save his own life. Prior to being taken prisoner by Nazi forces, Mr. Cole disposed of his dog tags, which identified him as being of the Jewish faith, so as not to draw the ire of the Nazi captors. Cole spent the final months of the war freezing and starving in a POW camp. There are a lot of ways to describe Sidney Cole, none better perhaps than those chosen by the director of the VA hospital where he now lives. You, sir, are a national treasure. Do you feel that you are a national treasure? What's that? Where's his I appreciate him thinking it, but one, one thing, I knew I had to do my job, and I thought I did 100%. We could have spoken all day to Sid Cole if time permitted. When we mentioned that to him, he said, that's okay, come on back another time and visit. Perhaps we will, but not before saying what we heard so many others tell him today. Captain Cole. Thank you for your service. Amen. Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News. Amen, Dave. You're right. I'll say that again. When you go, I'd like to go with you also. I'd like to meet this man. There you go. What a great guy. So many people in Buffalo proud of him and all his accomplishments. We, of course, know that his family is so great that uh, the senator could arrange that special honor today. What a treasure, huh? Yeah, he certainly good is, and him. really sharp, too. Yeah, 103, he is. may Looks we be so too. blessed, huh? Handsome man, you've got that.